Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Devin if you're new here and today I'm showing you guys my capsule wardrobe for my European holiday. I am so excited for this trip and you guys are seeing this while I am on that trip. So if you haven't already, go click over to my Instagram and follow me so you can see my outfits and how I style all of these pieces and just more up-to-date posts from me. I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to hit 10k. I just want the swipe up. That's literally it. But anyways, let's get into the video. This is a capsule wardrobe. Very inspired by the painting that's hanging over my clothing rack. You guys will see all of the colors in that painting are basically the colors that are in this capsule wardrobe so I'm very excited about it. I would say the first essential to any capsule wardrobe is just a white basic tank top. It's not cropped. It's not anything special. It is just a little ribbed kind of thicker tank top. This one is from H&M and I said this once and I'll say it again. H&M's basics are amazing. They last me for so long. But I've had some of them for multiple seasons. Next, I have this little white t-shirt. It's so cute and I thought it would be good for layering regardless of if you can see the embroidery on the front or not. This one is thrifted. I'll link everything that I can down below and similar if not the same things for the items that are thrifted but a cute little boxy short sleeve tee. These next two pieces are absolutely vital especially if you're traveling somewhere in the fall when it's starting to get a bit cooler and it's these little button down shirts. So this one has kind of a houndstooth material and they're both oversized so they can be used for layering, they can be used as a cover up if we're able to swim if it's warm enough. And then this one is just a plain white one. And I think these are such a staple, not only in a capsule wardrobe collection, but just in a wardrobe, like any type of wardrobe, because they can just go with so many things and they make an outfit so incredibly cute. If you put it with the right jeans and like the tank top, oh, they're just so cute. Now we're moving on to the sweaters. This category is one that I'm still trying to see if I'm actually gonna be able to fit into my suitcase. I'm confined to a little carry-on, so everything in here might not be able to make it. But I have this, and this is thrifted, but it's actually from Aerie. I think this is super cute, and I love the creaminess of the color. I love these buttons, and it just feels super warm. Great for layering, and I hope that this can make it on there with me. But if it can't fit, honestly, I would wear this on the plane. Like, this is just so cute. Next, I have this Eileen Fisher um, light sweater. This is definitely a bit of a lighter material, and I think it just feels so nice on your skin. They sent this to me last year, so I would not suggest getting it because it, I think, was like $400. <laughs> don't get this but I will link something very similar down below it's a bit more affordable but it feels expensive maybe not $400 expensive but it feels expensive the next sweater that I have in this little haul is this sweater vest this would be so cute with the short sleeve white t-shirt I think sweater vests with short sleeve white t-shirts are just so precious they're so cute are we still liking sweater vests because I still absolutely love them and I just think this one is so cute. It is thrifted, and I would suggest going to your thrift store looking in the men's vest section because they have so many of these. Now we are on to the bottoms. I have a good bit of options for the bottoms to pack with me, but if you guys want to see exactly what I'm bringing, watch my next vlog and it'll be like me packing all of my stuff. But let's just get on to it. First pair of pants that I'll be bringing are these little shorts. These are sleep shorts, I'm pretty sure, but I wear them out and about. I think they're so cute. I wore these in an Instagram post with my swimsuit and that white button down top and I just thought such a cute little look. I would definitely say that these are like swim like cover up shorts. So the next option for bottoms I have is this white skirt. I thrifted it but it's Tommy Bahama. The only issue that I have with this is that the bottom so from here to here of this skirt it's like thick ribbed material but from here down it's just there's holes in it so you can see my underwear and I'm not entirely sure if I'm interested in that or how I would work around that but definitely a cute skirt and has the cutest little pattern on the bottom part this next skirt it's probably the more practical option to bring it's just this beige material and it's actually a skirt 
with pockets so if i had to choose between the two i would definitely pick this one because it's just so much more practical functional and it's also really comfortable now we're on to the long pants i have two items for pants and i'm bringing both of them i have First, these little trousers. I am obsessed with these. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen them a million times because I am wearing these basically into the ground. But these are probably one of my favorite thrift finds. They have just the best waist. Like, they have these squishy or like cinching parts on the side, and it just fits my waist perfectly. And they're just so cute. Perfect length, perfect shade goes with so many things um these are a staple like the most staple staple i think i own the next pair of pants i'll be bringing are the iconic target little 25 dollar light wash jeans these are also a staple i think they go with so much and jeans can really elevate a look like leggings versus jeans and these are just as comfortable in my opinion i think if you find some good denim it doesn't need to be super expensive but if you find good denim that fits you well they can be very comfortable i'm done with hearing the jeans are not comfortable because if you find some good ones they're comfortable i'll link these below i also have them in black and i'm obsessed with them you need them if you can't find a good pair of jeans the next two pairs of pants are definitely more of a if they can fit situation i just thrifted these two pants and i am really in love with them i think they're so cute so it's these blue pair of dress pants which they honestly look very similar to the jeans in color at least but they are like a bit of a more sophisticated vibe i think they're a bit more flowy and they're just like typical dress pants and they give me like Matilda Jerf vibes which I'm always trying to give off Matilda Jerf vibes if we can tell and then I have these pants which are like fire cracker red but I just think they're so cute one of my friends she showed me and my friend Jessica this red outfit and it was literally so cute and it's been in my mind since I had seen it on her and she just looks so good in it and so I was like I need to find some red pants so these, it's unlikely that these will fit or that I'll be able to even find a bunch of outfits to wear these with, but if I can't bring them on my trip, I'll definitely be posting these once I come back because they are so cute. The next category is dresses. I am hoping to get all of these in. This first one is actually um, a little romper and I wanted this to be like a beach cover-up situation so i'm i don't know if i'll be able to bring this but it's really tiny and i think it's super cute for the beach i'm not sure if you guys can tell this but we're definitely going for like winter whites like <laughs> i'm wearing white after labor day who cares this first dress that i am bringing is actually the only black item in this haul but i do love this dress it's so versatile i can use it as either a dress up here or a skirt and it's just this maxi dress i have worn this i think in one instagram photo already um, from when i was back home but we love this and it has this smock detail and it actually fits me so perfectly i got this from the thrift store but one of my favorite thrift finds this dress just gives me like all of the italy countryside vibes like how cute is this dress i can just imagine myself or like south of france like when we go to the french riviera i think this is going to be so beautiful with all of like the colorful little buildings and i'm just so excited to wear this one this is actually from h m i think this is so me it hurts i love this this dress is a bit more of a basic dress it's kind of a t-shirt dress but with no sleeves and i thought this one would just go with so many things i can wear this with the long sleeve button downs i can wear this with literally so many things with this sweater vest over it this is definitely the staple capsule wardrobe dress just something basic that can go with everything the last dress i have is something that although i would definitely wear this here there's no place to wear this dress but now i'm like i'm going to europe i can wear this dress <laughs> i'm so excited about this dress it's so long it goes all the way to the ground and it is just the most beautiful dress it's kind of the material of an oxford shirt like a little button down and i just 
I'm obsessed with it and I feel like this belongs in Italy on me. I'm just so obsessed with it and I love the color. It fits with the color scheme perfectly. She's beautiful. I will be bringing this little swimsuit from ASOS. It's super cute. Here's the top and then here are the bottoms kind of like sits up like that. Super cute ribbed material and I love this color. These last two clothing items are somewhat of an honorable mention. If I can fit them, I will. If I have to wear one in the airport, if it's even the temperature to justify them. But I got both of them thrifting the other day and they're so incredibly cute and just practical. The first one I have is this trench coat and it's super like flowy. I feel like most trench coats are like heavy and stiff and don't move but these are just so flowy. You'll see it in the try on haul, how they're just like so movable. This one has shoulder pads in it and usually I rip those out, but I actually really like the silhouette that they give in this one. And I don't know, I've never had like a trench coat that fits me perfectly and this one really does that. The next trench coat I have is this beige one. Same thing, fits me so perfectly. The fit is amazing. Finally, we are on to the shoes that I will try to be fitting in my suitcase. Like I said, literally looking at all of this stuff, it's not gonna all fit in my suitcase. So I'm gonna have to make some sacrifices. But the shoes, I think, are non-negotiable. The first pair I'll be bringing are these little vagabond, they're not tennis shoes, but they're like tie-up little dress shoes. And these are my favorite shoes ever. They're super comfortable and they just make an out outfit look so elevated. Um, I was gonna go with a pair of white sneakers, but I don't know, I think this is much more my vibe, so. There they are. I'm also gonna be bringing my Birkenstocks, my little Boston Birkenstocks. Funny story about these is that I literally had these in third grade. I begged my mom to get them for me in third grade and now they've made a comeback and I'm like, wow, I have them. I love them. The last pair of shoes I'll be bringing is just my Hoka walking shoes. We'll definitely be doing a good bit of walking and I'll wear these in the airport so they won't take up any space in my suitcase. That is it for my capsule wardrobe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am just so excited and you guys are seeing this after I've already been there and posted a lot. So go follow me on Instagram because I am really working on leveling up my Insta game. There's definitely other things that I'll be bringing with me. So make sure to watch my next vlog. We're gonna be moving around a ton while we're there so i want you guys to not miss out on any of the good content that's coming i'm just so grateful for this because i've been super uninspired lately and even the thought of like preparing to go there has made me so inspired of all the videos that i can do and all the content that i can make even before i even get there so i'm just like once i get there it's just gonna go crazy the content is gonna be spilling it's gonna be filling. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. If you're watching to this point, comment this emoji, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.